Ladies and gentlemen, um, I just want to say, I'm Grant Gordon. Um, ah! No pictures. I, I, I'm partially to blame for all this. I just want to say how incredibly flattered I am that all of you guys dropped everything you're doing and raced over here to see me and talk to me. And I just want to thank you all. It is a, a distinct privilege to um, to introduce the the unofficial leader of the opposition and the very honorable Bob Ray. Thank you. Thank all of you for the standing ovation. It's uh, amazing what you can do when you get rid of all the chairs in a room. It's, uh, but it's great to be here, and it's wonderful to uh, be able to uh, spend time with Grant. Uh, tonight we're going to be knocking on doors and seeing people and going out and doing what uh, what everybody does in a in a in a campaign. Um, I have a special feeling about uh, this whole process because. I've been elected twice, three times actually, altogether in by-elections. Uh, they're a fun, fun opportunity to introduce the candidate to a riding. Uh, they're a great opportunity for us to bring Liberals together from, uh, from all over uh, and to really build up the strength that we need to build. Uh, it's great for us to be able to deliver a really positive message with a, with a very fine candidate and um, I know we're all looking forward to, uh, uh, to doing that. I'm not going to uh, spend a whole lot of time uh, telling you what to do at the doorstep and how important this by-election is, but let me just put it to you in a bit of a, of a context. Uh, we're in, uh, I think, a, a period of time when the Canadian public are beginning to come to terms with uh, what the Harper majority uh, actually means, what it's all about. Uh, and for me, it's like understanding that Mr. Harper uh, started his political career quite a while ago, probably one of the first political speeches he gave <coughs> was when he said that Canada is a northern European welfare state uh, in the worst possible sense of the term. Uh, so you got to understand that he then went on to say that the people who are unemployed uh, ha don't feel sorry for them because they've all chosen to be unemployed uh, and that's how they've chosen to live, rather than get work. Uh, and this is a speech that he gave to the American conservative movement that was up in Montreal uh, having a convention. So we really have a chance now to remind Canadians about that. I don't think that with the announcements and all the speculation about old age security that we'll have very much kind of explaining to do. I think people will understand that a <coughs> government that was elected with the promise of keeping things together is now very quickly dividing Canada in a whole variety of ways. As my friend Scott Bryson puts it, we have a finance minister who can't add and we have a prime minister who only knows how to divide. Uh, and that's the challenge that we face. You can use that line too. <laughs> but the choice in this riding, as we know, is not between us and the Conservatives. The choice in this riding is between the Liberals and the New Democrats. The New Democrats think they own the riding. They think that it sort of belongs to them. And they think that uh, all they have to do is repeat a few mantras about uh, their past. And that will be enough to simply uh, make everyone say, of course, we have to do it again. But the reality of our time today is a very different reality from the way it's been in the past. It isn't good enough for people to talk about how are we going to divide up the pie. And the New Democrats are great at that. You know, well, we need to get more for this group and less for that group, and more for these people and less for that people, and that's how we divide up the pie. The real issue in, in Canada today, and the real issue in this riding right across the country, is how do you make a pie? How do you create jobs? How do you create wealth? How do you create opportunity? And all the business bashing in the world won't create a single job. It won't add one whit to the gross domestic product. It won't make a difference in terms of how we grow jobs and how we grow wealth in this country. And so that's the hard lesson that Canadians have had to learn. It's a hard lesson we're learning today. It's how do we create prosperity? 
How do we create a prosperity that's widely and deeply shared across the country? And how do we create a prosperity that is genuinely sustainable? And it's as simple as that. The historic record of the Liberal Party is that we know how to do those things, that we've shown our commitment to those things, and we believe in balance, and we believe, yes, that uh, businesses are important, and yes, we believe that social justice is important, and yes, we believe that environmental and other kinds of sustainability are important. We believe in all three of these things. And yes, we also believe that ca Canadians are looking for their country to play a positive and effective role in the world, and yes, we do understand that there's something about democracy that Mr. Harper just doesn't get. And so we have some very clear messages to deliver on the doorstep. But we also have a very fine candidate. And we have a candidate who understands what it means to run a business, who also understands what it means to participate in a community. We know a candidate who believes in going green and know, knows what that means and how that can get done. Somebody who lives in the riding, who understands the riding, and who, and who can build the riding. That's how and why Grant won the nomination, and that's how and why he's going to win the riding. Don't be surprised if it's yeah. 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 Don't be surprised if at the beginning of the campaign people underestimate us. That's, that's not a bad thing. So it's, it's sometimes you feel, well, it would be greater if people really understood how wonderful we were doing. But in fact, if they, people say, well, you know, we don't really know who this guy is. We really don't know what it's all about. And the liberals have, you know, have had their difficulties and their problems, blah, blah, blah. There was, they, will, they will tend to recite all of those things. But the important thing to remember is that if you have the substance, and if you have the determination, and if you have the people, and if you have the campaign, then all the other stuff will follow. It's much, much better to have the substance than the, than the glitter. It's much, much better to have the substance on the ground and the message to deliver than to be running basically a campaign that's based on nostalgia or class warfare, which is really not a, a, a great chemical combination that's going to produce a wonderful, a wonderful set of things. And we have the best candidate, we have the best campaign, we have the best group of canvassers, and we are going to win this election. Yeah, yeah. Let me just say one thing at the end, one concluding remark, and, and then we've got to get out on the street, as, as, as I have been told on the 11 campaigns that I've run in. Uh, the, the, it's always a point at which the campaign manager turns to me and says, look, there's no votes in the committee room. Get out and can. Uh, stop worrying about the, 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 the boards and the walls and who's doing this and where's this and that. Uh, just get out and do the job. And that's, what, that's what Grant and I have to do and, and we're here with Glenn uh, tonight. Uh, in a by-election, every election, but it's especially true in a by-election, every single vote counts. And just remember, the whole exercise in this kind of a by-election is identifying the vote, and then, of course, during the advance polls and on election day, is getting people out to vote. It's, 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 it's very simple. It's not a complicated exercise. It's important for us always to remember that's what it's about. Identifying people and then, and then getting them, motivating them to get to the polls. The turnout in a by-election will inevitably be low. It will be less than it is in a general election. We've already seen that it's not great. You know? So when people give you a sense of, yeah, yeah, don't worry, I'm for you, or yeah, yeah, don't worry, but you've got you've to gotta actually make the connection. It's called eye contact. Make the connection with the eyes and say, but I need you to vote. It's getting their name. It's making sure you know who they are and where they are and making sure that they're taking the steps to get to the polls. It's taking the time to do that. I learned how to canvas many, many years ago in this riding. And there's two or three things you learn. The first one is you have to look people in the eye, and you have to spend time with every person. But you can't spend 20 minutes with each person trying to persuade them. You have to learn how to do the quick persuasion and the quick move, and then if you think it's going to be worth coming back, then you come back later on. But there are some key arguments I think we need to make. 
The NDP will have a message that will say, send Mr. Harper a message. Well, we don't want to send Mr. Harper a message. We want to defeat Mr. Harper, and we want to replace Mr. Harper. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and what this liberal movement has been all about this last while has been about creating a movement that's going to elect a government. And it is, it yes. is very important for us to and you, win, and you win that government seat by seat, vote by vote, count by count, door by door. That's how you win the election. That's how it's won. And I can tell you that what's happened in previous elections is irrelevant. All of the support that's been there, the there, whatever, for each party is irrelevant. Each election is different. Each election is a chance to go back to somebody again and say once again, okay, do you, do you, sir, know where the NDP is going? Who's their leader? Which direction are they heading? What are they going to do? What's it going to be? We know where we're going. We know what we're doing. We know who's been the official opposition, unofficial opposition in Ottawa. And we know who is. We're not running for opposition in 2015. We're running to form the government in 2015. That's what our party is about. We're not, we're not there to, to, to prick little bubbles. We're not there to make little clever points. We're not there to, you know, rant and rave, raise our fists and make a fuss. We're there to make a difference and to actually elect people who are going to make a difference and who are going to become part of the next government of Canada. That's the liberal movement that we're creating. Thank you all very much. Thanks for coming out. It's great to see you here tonight. Uh, we are going to go out and knock on a few doors and say hello to a few people. If you're coming with us, try not to scare everybody. They're not used to seeing so many liberals. <laughs> we'll have a good time. We'll get out and have some fun. And thank you very, very much for helping. We need your help in the days ahead. Thank you so much. <laughs>